weekend, I was at a kid's party. Actually, yesterday. Man, oh man, it was hot here in Ottawa, Ottawa, Canada. It was very hot. And the party had about, we'll say, 10 to 15 children from one year old right up to, we'll say, 8 to 10 year old. So it was, it was a kid's birthday party. And it was a lot of fun. I was there with family members. Brenda's mom was there. Grandma's. It was, it was a terrific event. It was well attended. A lot of people there. And I'm going to tell you something that happened at that, that party. That was really a killjoy. It really was. It's not always us who are the crazy ones, right? It's not always us who's causing other people to get upset. Brenda pulls out this bubble machine, this little bubble machine that came from Amazon. It's just a little, I don't even know how much they're worth, but they're very inexpensive and they work really well. Apparently it's 10,000 bubbles per minute. And let me tell you something, I never counted them, but I bet you there is 10,000 bubbles because it really works well for the price. So I'm running around with this bubble machine and the kids are just loving this bubble machine. They just love it. They're catching the bubbles. They're standing in it, everything. To this killjoy guy comes up and he says, you know, that bubble machine, damn bubble machine should be, you know, you should have it at your own house. He gets all pissed off at me about the stupid bubble machine. And I'm like, I'm saying, I didn't even respond to the guy. I'm saying to myself, hey man, like why don't you grow down a little bit? It's not an adult party, it's a children's party. Like, really? Are you really that uptight over some guy you barely know running around with a bubble machine in his bathing suit and you're giving him hell? And then his wife gives me hell over it. I don't say nothing, eh? I don't say a word to these people because I'm not gonna cause shit. I've had anger issues in the, in the past. In the olden days, I would have thrown the damn bubble machine in his face and, and I probably had a fight with him. That wouldn't have went well, right? No, especially at a kid's birthday party. But I didn't do that. I just totally ignored it because you know something? It's not me who has the problem with the bubble machine. It's him. And whatever I brought out in him and his wife, it's their problem, not mine. I'm at a Christmas party. I mean, I, at a kid's party, having a great time. And you know something what happened after? People came up to me and said, you know, Terry G, I heard what he said. And he's an asshole for saying that. He shouldn't have said that. And then his granddaughter grabbed the bubble machine and went around and doing the exact same thing I was doing with the bubble machine. So the more of the story is, the more of the story is, I know we try and work a great program. I know we're trying to be better people when it comes to our sobriety. But I also know one thing, it's not always us causing the difficulties. It's not always us causing the problems. And let me tell you something, it's not the bubble machine either. But if we do one thing that's really important, if we just be quiet, check ourselves, make sure we don't get upset about it, check ourselves and make sure we're doing okay. And we're not gonna spoil our day because before that would have spoiled my day, I would have got all depressed because I'm not people pleasing or whatever with the bubble machine. I would have shut the bubble machine down and all this kind of crap went it on in my head because I had low self-esteem. I want, didn't want to cause any problems at the party, but I just kept doing what I was doing. And other people came up to me and told me how much of an idiot and asshole these people were. Okay, so that's the moral of the story, right? It's not always us. As long as we're doing the best we can, the way people behave towards us, it's, it's on them, man. It's on them, okay? So buy a bubble machine. They're great. Kids love them. They're inexpensive on Amazon. I'm not promoting anything. And you'll love it. They love them. The children love the bubble machine. <laughs> okay. Have a great day. Have a great summer. I'm Terry G. Don't forget to subscribe. Ciao.